Yeah, check it out. It's, I got a light for my videos. Looks so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I bought it from Amazon.com because I got a gift certificate for Amazon uh, for, for my birthday. So I figured I should get one of these. Because uh, uh, I think it will improve my video, the look of my videos a lot. Yeah, and back here there's the screen, it shows the battery, the, the wattage, and then there's this knob, and you turn it and that adjusts the brightness of it. Let's see, <laughs> you can see the whole room getting brighter and dimmer. And when I first turned it on, it was all the way up to 100%, <laughs> which is really, really bright. So yeah, I gotta turn it down, way down. Yeah, I think this looks better already. And I'll, I'll, I'll uh, play around with the brightness and adjust it, and see, see what works best. But yeah, but yeah, 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 I wanted to wait for my light to get here uh, before doing this video. And this video is actually coming out sooner than my last video, <laughs> which when I was uploading my last video, uh, I, I really, I, I realized that I didn't upload a video in July. Uh, I actually thought I did. I thought, I thought the video before my last video was uploaded in July, but it was actually still June. So yeah, yeah, I, I didn't mean to go that long without uploading. Yeah, so this video is, is going to be about my jury duty summons. Well, summons uh, more more than one. But yeah, yeah, I recently had to go in uh, for jury duty. Uh, well, kind kind of. Um, I'll I'll explain but but uh yeah this was actually my third time uh getting a jury duty summons uh the first time i got one i was 19 i believe 10 years ago yeah i was in college and yeah it became uh, to my home and and uh, the, the way they do it they uh, give you a number uh, and and then you're supposed to call uh, this call in uh, during this one week that they assigned to you. And and uh, if I remember right, I think the first time uh, my week was during winter vacation. So I, I, I was home from college, uh, yeah, back in Idaho. And I was uh, going to college in Chicago, Illinois, actually. So, so yeah, but, but anyway, uh, yeah, dur during that week of my jury duty summons, I, I called in, uh, and then 
and the, the message would tell me what numbers uh, they were having come in the next day. And uh, my, my number actually didn't come up uh, before Friday, so uh, I was dismissed. Yeah, yeah, that was my first time. And then the second time, I think was just two years later. The way they give out jury summons, it's, it's random, I guess. And yeah, I just got one like two years apart, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was a senior in college. I, I was still in college, I know, when I got my second one. But yeah, pretty sure I was a senior. And when you first get your jury duty summoned, you have to go online to the website and fill out uh, this questionnaire, I guess it's called. And, and, uh, yeah, so I did that, and during it, I, I know I, uh, you know, put, put in, uh, I, I think it was a box that says, is there any other reasons why you should be the, dismissed? And I, I wrote in there, I'm attending college uh, in Chicago. So I, I won't be in Idaho there during this time. And uh, I sent that in. And then a little bit later, uh, I get this letter. Well, it comes to my house, but then my, my parents forward it to me in Chicago. And, and I, I open it and it says, like, that they have a arrangement was all the local universities and colleges that college students uh, still have to serve on jury duties if they are called to serve but <laughs> but it, it was about you know Idaho universities and colleges and uh, I wasn't attending any colleges or universities in Idaho. So I, yeah, I don't know, they just must not have read my answer or something because I, I know I put that, that I was attending college in Chicago. And after I read the letter, I realize I have to call in to or email someone uh, but I think it was like a, a Friday or, or Saturday that I got the letter and it, it was too late uh, to do anything then because the office would, would have been closed. So, so, so I, I put the letter aside and uh, was going to do something about it on Monday, but I, I just completely forgot about the letter. And, and then the week of my jury duty summons comes and they, 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 they send a, a little reminder in the mail, uh, like a, a week or two before your summons week. So yeah. My parents tell me about that and I'm, and, and I'm like, oh yeah. And uh, I try to find the first letter uh, they sent me because uh, I, I think there is a phone number or email uh, address on it I can contact, but uh, I don't think I could find the letter again but also I think I was 
like secretly hoping that my number wouldn't get fixed and I, I wouldn't have to talk to anyone and explain the situation. And I, I remember it was a high number I got, but because they start at one and then just call in as many people as they need. I was, hope, was hoping it wouldn't get to me, uh, but it, it did. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, my parents got got another letter in the mail uh, saying that I failed to report to jury duty uh, on the like the failure to appear letter there was a, like an email address uh, at the bottom I, I could email ex to explain my situation so so I did that yeah I tried to be like more clear about uh, the fact that I was attending college in, in Illinois and not Idaho so I, I couldn't come back to Idaho for jury duty so I, I emailed them that and then I got a new jury summons yeah 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 they just just yeah yeah gave me a new one a new number and a new date which this time was in the summer, so uh, I wouldn't be at college. Yeah. Yeah, so then the week comes, my like replacement week, uh, and I, I call in every day and my number doesn't come up, so <laughs> I didn't, didn't have to go in after all for the second time. Yeah, yeah, so I was 19 and 21, I think, when I got called for jury duty, but never had to go in until this year. Yeah, I get, get uh, another jury summons in the mail uh, this summer. And th this time it's a low number. It's uh, <coughs> uh, 123, one, two, three. That was my jury summons number, jury duty number, whatever. Jur jur -er number. Yeah. My week comes and I I get called in on Monday, the the first first day, which. Uh, I kind of figured. So, yeah, and well, usually I work on Mondays, but uh, yeah, I talked to work and they, yeah, they gave me that day off. So I, I go in on Monday, uh, I go into the courthouse on Monday and was all the other people that are called and then they divide us into different groups and then each group each group goes to a different courtroom and then we all sit down in the the um, the area where the audience sits and then basically we were there for like four hours uh just being asked questions by the judge and the lawyers uh we we, we did take a break halfway through so yeah that was nice but yeah just sitting there and, and they were asking questions to uh, everyone and yeah, people would respond. Yeah, after they were finished asking questions, then 
the, the two lawyers like co collaborated, I guess, or just narrowed down the, the people to get their jury. And I was not picked for the jury on Monday, <laughs> but uh, I found out that there was a chance that I would get called again if they go through all of the people that they called in for that week. Uh, like, I, I think they, they sent out 750 summons for my week. And if they went through all 750, uh, then they would just start over it again at one. So if they did that, then I would have to come back in. And I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. And so I had to go back in on Thursday. Uh, which right now I'm currently working Thursdays through Monday. So I have Tuesday and Wednesday off. So that week, Monday I go in for jury duty and then I have Tuesday and Wednesday off. And then Thursday I go back in for jury duty. Yeah, so Thursday comes and I go in for the second time but that day, I'm, I'm just, just not feeling good, like mentally. I, I was having this weird feeling and it's, it's kind of hard to describe, but it just kind of felt like I sh shouldn't be there. Like, like I just wanted to, to leave. Yeah, yeah, so I, I just got to talk to someone uh, and I tell them I've been diagnosed with autism and I'm feeling overwhelmed and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm out of my routine. So, uh, uh, so yeah, so I, I don't feel well and they, they, they explained to me that if I get this form signed by a licensed doctor, then I can be dismissed from jury duty. So yeah, so yeah, I get the form and and uh, leave jury duty just shortly after I got there and and. Yeah, and, and then I end up going into work for a half day. Well, a little bit more than a half day, but... And then a few days later, I get the form signed by my therapist. And, and he, he sends it back in. And then uh, recently, I, I get this letter in the mail. And, and says, uh, you know, dear juror, please be advised that upon given your recent request to consideration, you are therefore excused from this term of jury service. <laughs> so yeah, I was, Dismissed. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yay. Although, we'll see if I get called again. Yeah. Who knows? But, but yeah. yeah I'm, I'm just glad to get that over with. Because, uh, uh, I mean, it was fine for me on Monday because uh, I, I got an a extra day off that week 
but then then I mean, go back in. Fortunately, I, I uh, had enough, uh, what's called paid time off hours saved up. So I, I was able to cover uh, my miss day and a half. Uh, from jury duty, so that worked out. I, I still got my pay from my job. Jury duty does pay, but as I learned that day that I went in on Monday, uh, it only pays $10 a day, which that that's, that's just seems so unbelievable. It's only ten dollars a day, and my my current job I'm getting paid eleven dollars an hour, and uh, I don't even know if I'm going to get paid for Monday when I went in. But it, if I don't, it doesn't really matter. It's only ten dollars. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, for me, at least. So, so uh, I'm not worried about the ten dollars. On Monday, uh, I was feeling just fine, and like I think that might have been because I was prepared for jury duty. Because uh, I called in on Friday, you know, afternoon and. And that, that's when I found out I would have to go in on Monday. So, you know, I had the weekend to prepare, I guess. Uh, I knew that was coming uh, and had time uh, before it. But, you know, for Thursday, uh, I, I had like, uh, like, I don't know, 14 hours notice because I, I call in on, on Wednesday. Then found out I'm going in on Thursday. But yeah, but that, yeah, that, that wasn't enough time, but Oh yeah, that's probably why I, I seem to be feeling overwhelmed because I, I was prepared to go to work on Thursday. Yeah, and, and if I got picked on Monday for jury duty, they, they said that the trial would have only been two or three days. So that, that wouldn't have been so bad. Uh, might have been able just to go to work on Thursday normally after the trial ended. So, so yeah, it probably would have been okay if I had got picked on Monday, but, but if I got picked on Thursday, then I don't know, like, cause sometimes trials can last weeks. And if I had gotten this jury summons, when I wasn't working, like, you know, in, in between my uh, ski resort job and my current job, then, yeah, <laughs> then I probably just would have went in. Uh, this is okay. the second time I get got called and just see what, ha what uh, happened. Cause you know, I, I didn't have anything else going on then, but, but, uh, no, no, the jury duty summons had to come when I have a full-time job, but, but yeah, this video has gone on for way too long. So, uh, uh, until next video, goodbye.
uh, I was able to get past jury duty 